Hey internet, my name is Abby and I'm suffering from an addiction to brain crack. If you are not acquainted with the idea of brain crack, I recommend you watch this 2006 Zay Frank video where he discusses it. To give you a short explanation, brain crack is an idea that you get in your head, but for some reason you don't do it. Maybe it's because you don't have the time or maybe you don't have the resources or the motivation, but you keep it in your head and you keep thinking of ways to make it better. The more you think of the crack, the bigger it grows until there's no way that you think you could ever make it happen. So, it never happens. Basically, no one wants to realize an idea of theirs and then have it suck. But it happens. So the best way to free your mind of brain crack is to put your ideas out into the world and then to make them better once they're there. I've had a lot of brain crack lately. One idea I had was making a website where you could subscribe to your favorite web cartoons. Um, and this website would bring all of those cartoons together so you could see all of the new cartoons on the same page rather than having to go to all of the different artist pages. I don't really know how I would go about making that work, so I'm just gonna put that idea out there and if anyone can think of any way to do it, go for it or let me know. My newest brain crack, however, is one that I would really like to make happen. From 2008 to 2012, I wrote a secret online blog on a website called Zanga. The blog was called Their Biography, and in it I wrote some of my deepest, darkest secrets. Most of them were about boys, some of the time I wrote about my friends and family, and a lot of the time I dealt with the way I got through the struggles that everyone faces in life. Recently, Zanga took down all of the old blogs in favor of updating the site and creating a new user experience. When I found out, I was devastated. It's one of my favorite pastimes to go back and read my old blogs. Plus, imagine if someone came into your house and set fire to your diary. It would be terrible. There were all of these important thoughts that I could never get back. Thankfully, Zanga archived some users' blogs, and mine happened to be one of them, so I was able to retrieve all of my entries. While reading through them, I decided that if I could bring them together in the right format, they might make a pretty interesting young adult book. I liked the idea of teenagers being able to learn from my experiences and mistakes, and I felt like there had been finally enough time that had passed between when the events happened and now that I was comfortable sharing them. In the last few days, I've been toying with the idea of turning this blog diary into a web series, and then, here's where the brain crack part comes in. The idea keeps getting bigger. Now I'm thinking about how cool it would be to have an interactive or transmedia experience where other people could come together and figure out how to help me tell my story. But I've decided to dial it back a little and see how maybe just a simple web series or vlog would work. If anyone has any ideas, I am totally open to suggestions. As a preview, I'll read you one of my more recent excerpts, which is somewhere between poetry and prose. I think I would title it Searching for Ecstasy. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you all later. Thursday, May 13th, 2012. I want to feel the ecstasy that you feel when you do something you've never done before. That feeling when you're on the edge of the cliff looking down and you know that the slightest breeze could push you over. The best part of a drunken high, when the world is funny and awesome and you are the life of the party. When you scream out your favorite song as you drive your car fast with the windows down. The excitement and invigoration when you run shouting and laughing straight into the cold ocean. I want to feel the ecstasy that occurs when he runs his finger lightly down your arm. When you kiss someone for the first time and that moment afterwards. The feeling immediately following good sex when all of the excitement and satisfaction and adrenaline come crashing together. When you look in his eyes and it feels like a blow to the heart. I want to feel the world twisting and wrapping its way around me like the current in a rapidly flowing river. I want to feel every shake and rattle and roll of my bones as I make my way down this rough path. I want to be submerged in the fibers that run between everything and sink into all when I catch a glimpse of what things could be. I want to be overwhelmed by passion and immersed in a love for life. I want to teeter on the edge between greatness and danger. I want to know what it's like to experience every type of high. I want to occasionally crash down into a low to make myself appreciate the good times. I want to change who I am and the way I see the world. A few times in life you come to a turning point. Everything flies up into the air and you have to decide how it will settle. As you put the pieces back it's up to you to determine how they will fit together. You have to have the drive to make the necessary changes. You have to be courageous enough to make your life the way you want it to be and not the way it ought to be. If loved, 
and I've lost and I can let it destroy me or I can use it to fuel the fire in my depths that makes me into a better person. And not even just a better person, but the person that I yearn to be. In my journey to become who I intend to be, I will begin by searching for ecstasy.